I am joined now from Colorado College, Abby Holtz, the co-offensive player of the week for the first week of the volleyball season. Congratulations, Abby. Thank you, Dave. So the Tigers are off to a great start this season, going 4-0 in the Colorado College Classic. The team did not drop a set, and you were named the MVP of the tournament after posting 38 kills, 35 digs, and a 337 attack percentage. What have you and the team been doing to get off to such a great start? Well, before the season started and before even preseason started, the returners had the opportunity to go to the Caribbean, and it was a great opportunity for us to bond and have fun and get to know each other a little more. And then once we had the newcomers join the team, they kind of just fit right in, which has been fun. We've been doing lots of activities together to work on that family bonding, and we've been practicing a lot and working on some new things, and uh, I'm really excited to see what the rest of the season holds for us. So looking forward to this weekend, you have some really tough teams coming out to Colorado Springs. We've got Springfield, which is receiving votes in the ABCA Division III poll, and UT Dallas, which is ranked number 14. What do you need, need to do this week to continue your personal success? It's an honor to be ranked in the top 25, but even that, you never know what another team's going to bring and how they're going to match up against you. So we're going to be working really hard this week in practices, um, working on different combinations, different offenses, different defenses, so that if we run into any trouble, which we hope we don't, um, we can adjust and be ready for any challenges that come our way. How important is it to play matches like this during the season so you're prepared when you get to your 19th consecutive NCAA tournament appearance, hopefully at the end of this year. That would be a huge honor to um, lead Colorado College to its 19th consecutive appearance. And these matches are huge because once you get to the NCAA championships, you're playing the best of the best. And playing against teams that are um, being ranked in the top 25 is huge. Um, and it really helps us prepare for not just the NCAA tournament, but also the SCAC championships where we have teams within our conference that are going to be ranked in the top 25 as well. Well, congratulations again, Abby. And now we're going to switch gears and move on to the next segment. We call this Take Three. So I'm going to ask you three questions to get, you, get to know you just a little bit better. The first question, what is your biggest pet peeve and why? Okay. I really, really do not like when people leave an empty roll of toilet paper on the toilet paper dispenser. I don't know why, it's just like an inconvenience. You have to, it's just inconsiderate. I don't know, it's bothered me ever since my sixth grade teacher told me. And since then, it's been one of my biggest pet peeves. All right, the next question. If you were stranded on a desert island, what are the three items you could take with you and one of them can't be an empty toilet paper dispenser? Darn. Um, I think it would have to be a private jet. A lot of gas for the private jet. I don't know how much it needs, but however much it needs. And a pilot because I cannot pilot a plane. So you don't want to stay there too long? No. Okay. Your final question, what is your favorite breakfast food and why? Okay, I think, yeah. I would have to say Frosted Flakes because as Tony the Tiger says, they're great. All right, this has been Abby Holtz, the Co-Offensive Player of the Week. Abby, thanks for your time and congratulations and good luck this weekend. Thanks.